Hey everyone, today we're going to make a sword sheath sound effect by using only a metal spatula. This is a stainless steel spatula, you can use any metal spatula that you have. Uh, we're going to run it across a hard surface, record the sound that comes out, and then we're going to use our DAW, which is mine's Pro Tools, and uh, we're going to tweak it to sound more sword sheathy. So, here we go. Okay, so we're going to take our spatula and run it down, and you get that sound. We're going to keep going, get a lot of takes, and then we'll pick out the best ones. Okay, so here's my clip loaded up. Um, it was the best one that I got. There it is. So the first thing I'm going to do is go add an EQ. And I'm going to boost the high end considerably because I want that really high shimmer, schling sound when you, what you think of when you hear a sword come out, let's see. Yeah. So I'll just smooth out the curve a little bit. And then I'm also gonna take out everything under like two to four hundred hertz, depending on where it affects the sound at. Um, nothing really lives down there anyway, especially in this sound, so it just adds to clean up the mix. So it's not quite there yet. Um, I need something to pull the sound together. So I'm going to add a reverb. There we go, deverb. And then I'm going to use a plate large. And that's way too much reverb. We're going to bring it down better. About oh, right there. And then I don't want any of the reverb tail on my sound. So. I'm going to bring the delay down just until I hear the reverb tail cut out. That way it's just on the sound. And there we go. So that's our uh, sword sheath sound. I'm going to put it in a clip uh, so you can see it coming up. Uh, Lord of the Rings clip that I picked out. So hopefully uh, you'll be making your own. Thanks for watching, guys. Fled and King stand alone. Not a lot. Go hit it!